Mr. KC, the Red Pill Alpha, back at y'all again with that motherfucking heat. That volcano lava. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin to the back of her motherfucking neck. Holding her down, locking her down, submerging her. Man, you put that bitch down up on the water with game, pimp. Concentration style. Gives a fuck. <laughs> Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Soon as I'm done with these videos, piping hot status, you're going to get it down your phone into your ear, all ear candy game, player. Yeah, you're going to get it. <laughs> you got any comments, get at me at my Gmail, railsfargo12 at gmail.com. That's R-E-L-L-S-F-A-R-G-O-1-2 at gmail.com. Or you just get at me at YouTube, I'm all ears. We're going to touch bases with this shit. Oh, yeah. She wants an already made nigga. She wants a nigga that's already ready made. Let's get down on that. Let's talk about this shit. Remember, if you go back to my video, my last video, <clears throat> I was speaking about how a woman, a real woman of worth, wants to be a wife. She doesn't give a fuck about marriage. She cares about being a wife. When all said and done, marriage is obsolete out the picture to her because it's just another day of excitement. It's another day of, I guess, bringing some memories of you guys having this fancy shit going on or whatever. But her wanting to be a wife is a part of the growth and development within you both. You're growing with her. You're developing with her. Whether it's the business, whether it's a relationship, y'all developing, structuring um, um, great things going for your children or whatever y'all got going on. Y'all doing it side by side. That's a wife, in my opinion. Now, a bitch that just want a dude that's already made, we see that every day, 24-7. What woman you know out here that wants to actually put in the work, the groundwork, come out that motherfucking pavement, come out that mud, build up with you? I'm waiting. There's not many. Why? It's because they already want you when you're in position. They already want you when the money coming through. They want you when the money's great. They want you when you're on top. They want you when the money's right. It's kind of hard to find a woman that wants to actually build from the mud with you, especially African-American women, our sisters. We don't get that too much from them. Look at the ball players. Look at the football players. Look at the athletes. Look at the movie stars. Look at the... The, um, the entertainers, the rappers, the singers, the moguls, and things of that sort. If these women didn't come out the mud with them, actually get married to them and being by their side when they was young, like a LeBron James and his wife, when he was in, actually in high school doing his thing, she was actually there coming up. You rarely see that, bro. You rarely see that. You know, not to say she stuck by him because it was she saw his potential early on in life, which I think she did, you know, because... Come on, that's LeBron. He's been balling, motherfucker, since he was probably seven to eight years old. So before he even got his pipe wet, nigga, he was balling. He was dribbling and fucking around with the basketball in the hoods and in the community centers and shit throughout Akron, Ohio. And um, Cleveland, Akron, one of them. Ohio, I know it's in Ohio. And um, um, she could have gravitated to him and seen that he was going somewhere, you know, and caught on to it while he was young and while she was young. That's not a bad thing, though. Because they gravitated to one another as youth. They didn't wait till they got to their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. And, you know, now I see the potential in you. You see it in me. Let's get married. And no, they they stuck through the, the, through the shit. When teams wasn't fucking with him, when schools wasn't fucking with him, she was still there with him. You know, like I said, she could have seen the potential early on. And she did right. She gravitated to him while she was young and he was young. She didn't have no kids. He didn't have no kids. So they developed together. That's what you supposed to want to do. That's what you want to do. You don't want to just jump out, have your shit already going. You got 10, 15 properties. You got four or five cars. You probably own two or three businesses. You seeing, you know, two or three, three or four different incomes coming in. She see that just as well. You in it. You living in it. She's on the outside looking at it. And she wants to be a part of that. That's a bitch that want an already made nigga. You know, you don't, you ain't looking at what she's looking at. You looking at it, this bitch like me. She's loving me. She's digging me. It's something about me that she's digging. 
when you know you get in the bag, you know how you living, you know that you um you doing your thing as a man. You know that. You know, you 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 top of the food chain. And um you are the prey. <laughs> and these bitches are predators when it comes to that, especially when it comes to your pockets, your finances, your success, you know. And they'll play on that with the oh, I love you so much. I care for you so much. What you doing, I never seen no other man do. I never had a man who did this. I never had a man who did that. And then she probably didn't. And she probably did. Who knows? You know, but she's running that shit on you at that time. You took her in. You loving on her. Hey, she got a baggage with her. She probably got a kid or two. Yeah. Typically, it's going to be somebody with her. Because if you're in your late 20s, your 30s, your 40s. I mean, it's kind of rare that you're going to find a woman that's running around with no children. At that age of you, you in your 30s, she's in her 30s. It's rare that you're going to find it. It's out here. I know a couple chicks out here in their 30s that don't got children. Yes, I do. I'm quite sure you fellas know some chicks your age, if you're in your 30s or whatnot, that don't have children. But it's very rare. You know? So you know we speaking from a perspective um, of reality. And if we're going to speak from a perspective of reality, then we know that it's a chance she's going to come with children. So she coming with a kid or two. You inheriting all that. You taking in all that. You ain't tripping. Your money right. You doing good. I mean, you you you, you right. Your money's a you on top. She don't got shit, so she's trying to latch on to what you got. But she utilizes the love, the care. I got your back. I'll be there no matter what. And she may show you that she got your back. She'll be there no matter what. However, did she build with you? Did she help you structure this shit that you got going on over here? No. You taking it for face value for what it is that she's doing right then and there. Not knowing that once you lose all this shit, if this shit come to crumble, she's out the motherfucking dope. Cause she wasn't there with you from the jump. She don't know the struggle. She don't know where, where, how, she don't know what the fuck you went through to get where you was at. She don't know the sleepless nights, the studying. The traveling. She don't know about none of that shit. You know, actually having male motherfucking migraine headaches because you're trying to figure things out to succeed to the next level. She doesn't know that. She ain't put herself in them shoes. Those are shoes that she cannot fulfill. She's going along for the ride. And a lot of you fellas that allow that shit because you're looking at it like, hey, shit, she's digging me. I'm digging her. You know, I may got, I got a kid or two. She got a kid or two. We can make that happen. But you're not looking at the overall. You're not looking at the financial aspect of it. You're not looking at that. You're not looking at the fact that you're winning. You can afford to have your children, look it out for your children, do for your children, and have more if you wanted to. She really can't afford to do that. So she need that help. You know, she get with you. She probably got a little job, twenty dollar, fifteen hour dollar job, whatever. Cool, something to keep the bills paid, something to keep her at the mall, grabbing some shoes, clothes, hair done, nails, you know, eyelash, you know how they are, makeup, you know, how, you know, she, you know, the typical nigga bitch shit, you know how they do it. <laughs> yeah, let's get to it, you know. So, you um, she's doing that, but she don't have no savings. She ain't got too much save. You know, women don't be having savings. They go off, they they day-to-day -day women. They day-to-day -day people. That's how they are. They day-to-day. -day. You know, they 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 the biggest, they the biggest um product in the consumer market. They love to shop. <laughs> I ain't gonna say product. Well, yeah, I guess you can call them products because they love to put themselves out there. You know, they are cause they are the biggest um consumers on earth when they come to shop. When it comes to shopping and, you know, trying to spend their money looking good and all that other shit, you know, that's how they are, you know, but you stack it. You looking for, you looking forward to a rainy day because you know that rainy day shall come. You know for a fact that everything is not going to be good. Everything is not going to be great every day. Women, on the other hand, they don't look at that. They look at it like, hey, shit, I'm working this job. I'm bringing in these checks. That motherfuckers ready to go right back out as I bring them in. You know, I'm living my life. I'm living my life. I'm living my life. It's the same routine over and over and over and over and over again with these women. You know, 
But yet and still, you meet her, she meets you, y'all latch on to each other. Now she's a part of your success. She's a part of what you got going on. You married a bitch. You bought her into your money. She did not help you build nothing. So once y'all fall out, she's going to take a percentage of what she didn't have from the fucking jump. She's going to take a percentage, if not more, of what she never put in from the fucking jump. You guys cohabitate together. Y'all stay in the same place. Y'all stay together. Y'all decide to fall out. Which y'all are. You a man. She's a woman. You gonna fall out. It's common sense. You Y'all are not made to agree on every motherfucking thing. Y'all made to agree and disagree. Mainly disagree. Because we're dealing with testosterone. You're dealing with estrogen. That's just how it is. Ain't no ifs, ands, and buts about it. So once y'all fall out. You got to get the fuck out the house. You got to leave the house over to her. Even though you own the house, you own this, you own that, all that shit's going over to her. And you man, you probably ain't had no motherfucking kids by her, man. I seen cases like that, man. I know a couple motherfuckers ain't got kids that ain't got kids. They got their shit together. They built that shit. Couple dudes built their shit up. I mean, yeah, six figure type shit. Allowed a bitch into their life. Got married to this bitch. Now they got to break this bitch off. Huh? They ain't got no kids by this bitch. None of this shit. I don't know how they structure their contract within the marriage. I don't know how that went. But I seen dudes actually paying bitches that they ain't got children by. Oh, yeah. Bitch ain't had no kids. I know, I know a dude that was paying a bitch and she ain't had no children. But he she married him. He had a couple of them. But when they, well, when they filed for divorce and when the divorce went through, he broke her off. Alimony, whatever it was, I don't know what it was. He paid for a place for like a year, bought her a car. All this was up under agreement. The bitch actually moved another dude in there with her. Dude pushing her charger and all type of shit. He, she had a charger. Dude pushing all that. She doing it, another dude off this nigga's money. She went there with him to, to put to bring that shit up. She was definitely there with him to bring that shit down because <laughs> she was a part of it. You know, I mean. Come on, man. Don't take a rock of science to, to see, man, that um, if no one is there with you with the struggle and throughout the struggle, I believe it's best to be alone. And yeah, you're going to want love. And yes, you're going to want companionship. Yes, you're going to want to have sex. You're going to want to have someone that you can um lay up and talk to besides your coworkers, besides your homies and things. You want to have someone you want to actually, um you can actually confide in, you know. You want that better half. Yeah. I know you want that better half. I know it. But it, it's best in that situation, man, to go off your intuition and see what's best for you. Don't let no bitch come at you with that. Oh, I want you. You got to remember, they on the outside looking in. They know what you got going. They seeing you. If you got to move to a whole other demographic to wear or a whole other race of women that don't know what you got going on. Or if you got to fuck with women that's on your level when it comes to the, to the success. Do that. But watch out for these leeching ass bitches. That see you got shit going on and they ready to leech on to you when you wasn't shit. Two, three years ago. You wasn't you bitch ain't seen. Bitch probably been looking at you. you. You was just so much on your motherfucking focus and shit. You ain't even noticing this bitch watching. She was like a hawk watching you the whole time. Watching you the whole land in the trees, watching you the whole time. As soon as you accumulated, whew, I'm going to jump down there on you. When she could have watched you, she could have been watching you when you were struggling to get to where you was at. Think she jumped down on you then? Fuck no. She waited till you get to the fucking finish line. That's how a lot of them are. That's how most of them are. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't walking with you. I ain't walking with you, right? I, I'm not going to walk with, on the side of you. I'm not going to start nothing with you. I, I, ain't, I ain't got that. In, I mean, come on, man. That's some, Man, I ain't with that shit. But soon you hit the finish line and your shit together, you bubbling, you, you, you there. She's with it then. So watch these hoes, man. Watch these bitches. I mean, they cutthroat and they cold like that. Like this shit, share this shit, and subscribe, man. These bitches be wanting to do this already made, bro. They don't want to build with you. Fuck no. 
That's the struggle to her. You know it's the struggle, but it's a, it's a good struggle. You got the bad struggle, you got the good struggles. I love the good struggle when it's leading me to something that's beneficial for my future. Fuck the bad struggle. She see that you on a good struggle. Struggle is struggle to her, whether it's bad or good, it's a struggle. She'll see you when you get there. <laughs> that's how them bitches are, man. Holla.